episode of Brown and Overy. All right, so we're in Brassburg and Waterbury, my hometown, and I, you know, I came here. Look at the vibe. It, the vibe is very, very calm, relaxed. It's um, it's a very cool place to go. It's kind of hidden, um, so you know you have to kind of look for like the barrels and stuff like that, or else easily you're gonna miss it. It's right next to um, a distillery, Continuum. Hope I said it properly. So I like coming here. It has it has a good vibe and. What I like is that they just created this tent and it looks amazing. So I got a flight and what I like is that it has like this like Connecticut licensing plate, you know, where they put the flight. I think that's kind of cool. So I got five, they gave me five. They were like, hey, we're gonna hook you up today. And I was like, let's do it. It's a little noisy in here, but it's okay. All right, so the first one we're gonna do, cause this one has a very cool variety. So, I'm hoping this is the right one. It's a little bit off order, but from what it says here, this is the Mango Habanero. So it's a New England IPA and it's 6.1%. It has a little bit of a kick factor to it. So let me give it a shot. And it still kicks. I love it. It's, um, it's very... It's very unique for a beer because not only that, have you ever had a spicy beer before? I mean, that's kind, of, that's kind of cool. Like, that's something so unique and different, and it tastes amazing. So you taste the flavoring, delicious. So now, they came out, because it's gonna be St. Patrick's Day, with the Piper Stout. So this one's 4.9, it's a little, you know, on the weaker side, but look at it. Just in time, you know, top of the morning. So let's go. That. I love the flavor in this, and usually with stouts they end up tasting, you know, similar. But this is, it's it's very good. It's it's creamy and it's uh, it's not strong. It's not too alcoholic, but it reminds me of a smoother Guinness, which is really good. All right. So this next one is my favorite. I order it every time. It's the coconut porter. So it's five point five percent. And I am a huge fan of this beer. It's still just as good as it ever was, and it will always be good until the end of time, and I can't wait to have this until the end of time. Thank you. All right, so <laughs> moving on from that, we have the Filthy Bird New England, so it's a double IPA. This one's eight, this baby is 8.7%, so let's give it a shot. Tastes filthy, all right. Um, it's it's for double IPA. That one is dangerous because it's very smooth, and you can have a bunch of that, and you'll be out. <laughs> it's kind of, a, but it's it's very very smooth. I like that, and it's um it's not doesn't have like that bitter taste that a lot of IPAs have. I, I like that there's no aftertaste involved. So, the final one that we're tasting, it's called the Banana Anniversary Ale. So it's 6.6%. Look at that. It's like, I, I think we're having a uh, little bit of a windy problem here, but look at this. It tastes like banana bread. It's awesome. This one's very good. I love this place. I like coming here. I think a lot of people should come here because it's very, very good. You know, I, out of all the places I've been to, this is one of my favorites, definitely top five. So I'm gonna give this an A minus, and I suggest that you like, follow, subscribe. I am on Instagram, I am on YouTube, just broaden the brewery. And anybody who has any questions or any comments, feel free to let me know, even good or bad, I'll still read it and probably laugh at it, or cry, don't make me cry. But either way, this is, I love this place and I suggest everybody to come visit it. So yeah, A minus, this place rules my socks. So brought up.